Yo, yeah, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Hypixel Skyblog. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand, well, it's not brand new, but, you know, when Mayor Diana, all this new mayors and stuff came out. Now, if we take a look at Mayor Diana, I mean, she only has like 12 hours, so, you know, I might as well use this time before she's gone, because obviously we can get the Ancestral Spade and then the Griffin Pet at the same time, which, Griffin Pet, Odyssey, Mythical Creatures, you can have them spawned in, as long as Mayor Diana is elected and has this uh, description in her. If she does not, I don't think uh, she can spawn in mythical creatures, so yeah. But anyways, dude, so from those mythical creatures, we can get some of the claws from them, enchanted claws and etc. And then we can also get the griffin pet as one of the last things that we can collect. And I already ate that yesterday, just remembered. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the things that we can make with the griffin feathers and the enchanted claws as well. And we're also going to need the enchanted gold block. And that is going to be the weapon of Sword of Revelations. Damage 180, 50 strength, you know what, whatever. And then obviously you can heal 15 health per hit, which we're going to be needing this because if we take a look at the description, and uh, we can deal up to 200,000, 200,000, 200% damage against mytho <laughs> mythological creatures and Minos followers, but receive 75% damage from them. So that is the one downside of using this, but... You know, 200% damage against mythical creatures is definitely gonna be worth it. So, yeah, I see I have my materials in the other side. And, yeah, I had to grind some of these three stacks. I was like, you know what, dude, I might buy them. But then, nope, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grind these. Because I was gonna use these to just sell them when the prices were gonna go back up. Because, obviously, when these uh, mayors are elected and they have special stuff, the prices go down normally. Like by a lot and then later down the road you know if you wait long enough hopefully the prices will go back up so yeah it is uh right now definitely do not sell these i would save them even though this video is already out but i mean it's something you guys should know right and if you don't then you're just uh you just want to get the money all right but anyways dude, so yeah i mean these materials are kind of costly the enchanted claw is not really that like hard to get so yeah, if you take a look, I mean, if you have like an epic, at least, uh, griffin pet, then you can easily get a lot of enchanted ancient claws if you keep on grinding, etc. And uh, yeah, but anyways, let's go ahead and make this thing. Well, what is this? Is it like this and like that and then half a stack? So you need three stacks in order for you to actually get this. And ho I'm so glad that it's just a stick that you need, not the like data stick or anything. Data stick, I think that's where the... Or the axe, I believe, is what you need to use it for. But anyways, this is a sort of revelation. So let's go ahead and craft this thing. And then I'm obviously going to have to enchant it in order for this thing to work. And I totally forgot to make this into a level 1 book. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's going to be the same thing if I do a level 1 book. On a different book, it's, gonna, it's still going to be 253 XP. So I'm just going to do this, dude. Either way, it should still be like plus 1. And then we should have every enchant that we need. We're going to go with the um, smite 5 instead of sharpness. Just because... Uh, some of the mythical creatures are zombies, so yeah, I mean, two of them are zombies, and then the other two are just the iron golem and then the cats, which, you know, I guess having sharpness is a little bit better than a smite, but whatever, dude. We're gonna go ahead and actually apply the telekinesis on this thing, and then we'll see how much damage this thing does as well. And we need to also reforge it, actually, holy. I think I'm gonna go with epic, possibly. I mean, yeah, right now I did swap out my accessories. Spent over 500,000 coins just to get either strong or forceful. And I got forceful. But that only cost me like 700,000. That is a... Uh... It's not nice, dude. Oh, I can also hop a potato book this. Actually, I'm going to do that as well. I don't want this to be costing a lot, dude. All right, we got epic. We got strength and then the crit damage. This is pretty much, I'm pretty sure, the same thing as Fable. It's just a little bit weaker uh, than Fable. So that's why I go for this uh, epic instead of spicy or anything else. And I don't really need crit chance, so I don't really care. And uh, yeah. All right, before we start spawning in one of the things... Uh, the mythical creatures. Let's go ahead and uh, test out how much damage and strength this thing does. So we're up to 200 damage, which, you know what, that's actually pretty nice, you know? And then 100 strength as well uh, with Epic Ellie. So we do up to 35,000. And that is with this young dragon set a superior. Let's see how much damage you do. So 55,000 with Smite, obviously against these undead. Against the other ones are probably going to be like 30k or something. That is without the 200%. And then we can also test out with the other uh, Reven Revenant, like, hey, what you called it, dude? And the Falchion Sword, and that's what it's called. But anyways, dude, so let's go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> we already found the first one. And let's go ahead and follow this next one. Usually, I would say Mage is better. Especially if you go with the 3-4s. You know, Wise Dragon set, 3-4s of it. 
and then you combine it with uh, the shadow goggles because holy i mean i didn't know that i was just using full wise dragon set right and then all of a sudden i see somebody wearing the shadow goggles i'm like hold up dude is this uh is this actually the strat and oh behold dude it is a lot better especially taking care of the two mil um like champion with the epic griffin pet holy and then if you get the legendary i think they have like what 20 mil or something i don't know i don't know how much health they have but they have a lot so definitely using the shadow goggles or the wither goggles are gonna be definitely good but anyways so we got mr stalwart minotaur right here so let's see how much the first strike is gonna be and let's see was that one mil no that's not one mil hello we did a hundred thousand right a hundred thousand a hundred and thirty thousand holy dude that is uh actually pretty good a hundred thirty thousand like what <laughs> All right, so we do 100,000 with this thing against that guy at least with uh, 600,000 health. So let's go ahead and spawn in ourselves a champion and see <laughs> how that's going to go, dude. Because the champions are the most annoying ones to deal with for sure. And that's, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's facts, dude. Oh, man, this is the one thing I hate, man. We had to have a lot of mana. Like, holy, I think I'm just going to swap back to this thing and then I'll swap to uh, the superior when we spawn in one of our things. So, yeah, that's another good thing about <laughs> using mage items instead and having a lot of mana. So, yeah, all right, we got ourselves a guy. Hold up, dude, hold up. I need to swap my wardrobe. All right, let me go to my superior. Let's see what first strike is. So this thing is going to do a lot of damage. Our purse is... Uh, I mean, it's just 70,000, but, you know, 70,000 70,000. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I hate it when he goes into this mode. I do not know how much we did right there. About 100,000 so far is how much we're doing. Right? 130,000? Yeah. We are, right? 140? Let's see. Yeah, that is 140. 150,000. Actually, this is a lot faster. Wait a minute. This is a lot faster than using the mage items. Usually, I go with the ink wand. And then I also just use my frozen scythe. And then, yeah, I mean, I can still take care of it with the shadow goggles as well. And so just using uh, this one. But at the same time, dude, this revelation is actually... Wow. All right. <laughs> I mean, before I use the shadow goggles with the mage items, I usually... It took me, like, quite some time and at least a minute to kill that uh, champion, whatever. But with this one, that only took seconds. Like, hello? <laughs> That's actually pretty fast, man. It's a lot better than the Livid Dagger as well. Actually, I should compare it with the Livid Dagger. Not gonna lie, I should definitely uh, definitely do that and see if it, it is a lot better than the Livid Dagger against these guys. Which, obviously, it should be, but, I mean, we'll see. So, let's go ahead and uh, spawn in ourselves either a Minotaur or another champion. Alright, so against this guy, we had to hit him five times, but he already got hit a little bit. So, one... Uh, he's already reset, so one. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Nah, we're not doing that, dude. We're not doing that. We're just... And we missed it. Okay. All right, I'm just going to use my sword. Woo! Oh, actually, sword revelation still works, dude. But I'd rather just one-shot it with my ink one. At least it works with the, with the epic griffin. If you have the legendary one, you have to two-shot it with the ink one, which, uh, which sucks. But you know what? Whatever, man. I'd rather still one-shot it with the ink one. Just hit it five times and then use the ink one. And uh, it is easy. And I was also using my wise dragon set. Hmm. <laughs> Almost forgot about that, dude. All right, the cats. Yeah, this thing does not. <laughs> does not work. I mean, <laughs> I mean, something like that. I mean, it still does a lot of damage against mythical creatures. Oh, it's just mythical. It's not just undead. All right, so we do a lot of damage against all of them, even if we do have smite on it. But Smite is obviously going to work a lot better uh, with uh, the Undead for sure. All right, Minotaur. Let's use the Levit Dagger. I mean, we are in our Y Dragon set, so we need to do 30k. We'd be doing like 50,000 or something. I uh, see so if we go like behind it and stuff, we can do double damage. But I would still say, yeah, the Revelation is still better. Even with the Y Dragon set. So I guess I don't need to wear anything like op and like the superior but uh, if i were to change my wise dragon set from necrotic into fierce instead i'd be doing i see more damage but uh for now i'm just gonna keep it as necrotic because uh yeah i'm probably gonna be wearing this and uh, test driving it when uh, i'm at a high level for catacombs at least so yeah definitely using the sword of revelations is uh it's a lot better man but let's see how much damage it does i mean we're holding it right then our heart health i mean it does quite a bit, you know, I'm like, oh, calm down, brother, calm, ow, I'm bleeding, I forgot, I bleed, I need to take care of this guy, 
Oh, we're actually dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> I forgot that guy does a, a lot of damage if you're bleeding too much, man. Yeah, definitely gotta be careful about that. Does he still stay or does he die? I'm pretty sure he dies, right? Yeah, he's dead. All right, I forgot. <laughs> You need to uh, take care of him before he starts doing a lot of damage to you. Especially with the champion as well. If he gets up to like 500% damage, it is uh, invincible pretty much. So, yeah. But, anyways, dude, that's pretty much it for today's video, though. And this uh, Sword of Revelations is definitely useful. And I guess you can use it with this thing as well. So, let's combine it with uh, Ink One, actually. Mm. Alright, so I got 200%. And then... We're not doing 100,000 because we're wearing our wise dragon set instead of superior. So yeah, definitely actually using the superior is a lot better since uh, my crit chance isn't really that high right now. Or I just need to swap my reforging wise dragon set to fierce, which definitely should do that. But I'm not going to do that since uh, I'm probably just going to go back to my mage items possibly. And uh, yeah, but anyway, so... The Sword of Revelations, dude. 200 damage, 100 strength, and uh, it does up to 200% damage against all the mythical creatures. And it doesn't matter even if it's an Iron Golem or all that. That's just the enchant I put on Smite. So Smite, if you want to do that, if you want to do extra damage against those uh, champions, definitely put Smite because uh, you don't really need sharpness for the other ones. You definitely need Smite. Two, three, hold on. Four, five... Bang, okay. I need a range, all right. Yeah, you definitely using Frozen Scythe or just uh, the Flower of Truth. How much am I wasting, 79? Yeah, it's not too much, it's not too much, all right. So either the Flower of Truth or the Frozen Scythe, use it against that guy and then hit it five times at the beginning. You can hit him five times for like uh, three times in a row, I believe. Before you have to hit it more than five times, like six to eight times at least, if uh, it's lower health. Yeah, but definitely using the Ink One combo plus against that guy is uh, definitely better for sure, so. Yeah, Sword of Revelations, I highly suggest you get this thing if you're not using any mage items. But if you are using mage items, you don't really need this. Yeah, especially if you have the shadow goggles as well, so yeah. This is mainly if uh, you don't have any mage items and stuff, then you want to use the Sword of Revelations, combine it with a good you know, armor set and stuff. <laughs> Superior, doing out 200,000 at least for me. And, uh, yeah, with this one, except for Fabled, obviously we can get Fabled on it. We can also recombobulate it into Legendary to do a little bit more damage, etc. And uh, with the reforging at least, so, yeah. But, alright, dude. Sword of Revelations, I give it a 10 out of 10. We can actually, if I use a Fierce on this set, I think I'd rather go with, uh, using the Sword of Revelations versus the Mage items for sure. So... Yeah, <laughs> the combo, I see, we do this, and then that, and then we have the Frozen Scythe, plus Ink Wand, and then uh, we're good, and then we can have the uh, Scepter as well, Spirit Scepter, just to do a little bit of damage, but you do waste a lot of mana, so you gotta be wary about that. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video, Sword of Revelations, I highly suggest you get this thing, it is expensive, three stacks, if uh, you grind it, it takes like an hour or two per stack. Uh, depends on how lucky you get and yeah, how fast you do it pretty much <laughs> so yeah how fast you kill the mobs etc then you can get the griffin feathers easily within an hour of a stack if not it'll like take you an hour and a half usually for me it takes an hour and a half sometimes and then sometimes less or more depending on what i'm doing but uh yeah anyways i'll see you guys in the next one peace out